what we're gonna be putting in it is this 4.6 liter V8. And I just love the way this looks with this beautiful red. The engine bay is looking so good. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Right now, the shop is a complete mess with all the clutter around me as you can see. But in this video, we're gonna change that because it's finally time to put stuff back in our 2002 Ford Mustang. In the last video, we painted the whole engine bay with that beautiful red. So now we can finally get all the wires in and eventually get that V8 in here, which is gonna be awesome. So we're gonna start by putting some stuff in here. So let's get to work. How did I cut myself on a piece of plastic? guys we just finished putting a whole bunch of stuff in this engine bay we got all the wires and the, all the brake lines all in there so basically this car is ready to accept a brand new engine so what we're gonna be putting in it is this 4.6 liter v8 from a gt and we're gonna be swapping that in there and it comes with a nice five-speed manual transmission and also what we figured out the previous owner actually put an aftermarket short throw shifter on there so that's sick but as you can see it's really gross and grimy so we're just gonna pull it out there and give it a quick clean. So let's get to it.
like a seed from an apricot. <laughs> I'm gonna break this jacket. <laughs> I'm getting so excited. Wow, that's... Because it looks so good. Look at that, guys. We just lined up this engine almost perfectly, and I'd say it almost went smoother than when we took it out. That little push at the end was perfect, and now we got it centered. So as you can see, we got the body up, and then we'll just slowly drop it over the engine. And then all you gotta do is throw some bolts in that cross member suspension, and then I think we'll be good to go. I don't know why it's making that noise. Up she goes. So we got four bolts in there basically. So the suspension uh, should be holding the engine in hopefully. That tube might be. Yeah, because now we got to a bigger ton motor. more weight in here. We might have to get a bigger pipe. All right, we're at our uh, pipes here. This is our wall of pipage. Yeah, let's see if we can find anything a bit bigger. I think this like one might be better. One and a half inch? Yeah, one and a half. That's nice. Look at how much space we have now. <laughs> Take a look at that guys. We just finished putting that beautiful V8 in there. I gotta say, it took a bit of work because it is always harder to put something in a car than to just drop it out without a care. So we had to take a bit of time to line up all the bolts and whatnot, but we got it in there. And I just love the way this looks. With this beautiful red, the engine bay is looking so good. And we definitely will need to give this engine a good pressure wash once everything's connected, which will make it look even better. We actually haven't connected anything up yet, but we just wanted to get this thing basically bolted in place. But now we got a V8 in a car that used to have a V6, so that is big progress. In the future, we're gonna get this thing running and all hooked up and all that. So subscribe, stay notified, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. We're gonna finally start set, huh? What? This car had a V6 previously, but uh, now we can, I don't know why I'm saying that. <laughs>